All right, ladies and gentlemen, and um, kids of mine, is we're going to go over some of the stuff here. Is um, this is what heats the house here? This beast feeds the water to this, but it does it in a very, it, it could do it in a much better way. Um, we're going to separate this pump again. This is the one that used to be for the for a couple solar panels I made. It didn't have enough collector surface and didn't work out so well. Um, but uh, but I'm going to get some evacuated uh, glass maybe in um, 24, like the spring of 24, maybe before if I can pull it off. Um, but some evacuated glass ones and put them out front and then this pump will work for that. And, um, but this little tip here is, um, and ask me if, if I can show you how to ways to screw up soldering. I can do that. Um, I promise you I can, is I'm not the best soldering person. So, um, uh, but, uh, this will replace that. Um, and, and more for rigidity than for volume. The PEX actually has eh, just about as much, um, inside when it comes to the valve in um then the three quarter inch uh, is, let's see if i can't get down here to show you is uh, if you can see the, the the inside diameter of this versus the inside diameter of the valve um, that's always your restriction Especially when you're doing something with um, open flow like this is the the only thing that this has is there's a, a 60 gallon tank that's upstairs that has static head. Um, but any, you know, if it makes a bubble or um, especially like this, if it if the pumps aren't running in the coil lane, um, it'll break, you know, make a bubble and you'll hear it knock. And so it'll remind you to turn on the pump. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, um, I shouldn't have got off track. I was making fun, and it's I shouldn't have. But uh, um, but normally you just put your hand on the tank like that, and I keep it to about a hundred degrees, maybe a hundred and twenty, about a good coffee cup kind of temperature, not much more than that. Maybe that's not even that high, I guess. Um, but it just otherwise it runs you out, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, um, and I'm not gonna. I pulled that off in the last video, and that was that was bad to do can't do that it is um but uh it's at the end of its run y'all is what it is in little pieces and i'm not going to feed it no more it's time to take a nap and um but i'm going to go pick up some the piece that i'm going to end up with is there was supposed to have been a t right there and i botched it when i was um, soldering so i got to get one to replace it and i need a a galvanized three-quarter inch um, T there the the three-quarter inch copper T there and some like like flared um, from half to three-quarter inch uh, bell or what yeah I think it's called a bell and um, and then I'm gonna um, get the the return fixed and that's kind of hard to see in that shadow but I'm going to get that, that return. It, it used to stand up, but then it got the droopsies. Um, but the top one helped it stand up, but then it jumped its little keeper. Um, I got to get like a board on the back and then some clips to hold it up rigid. But the copper will help it hold it up too. The copper won't have the droopsies. And um, that's the only thing bad about the PEX is excellent in the in concrete, inside stuff, you know. Uh, in my opinion, I'm, it's great in walls, I guess, um, as long as nothing can chew on it or whatever. Um, I'd rather have copper other than that. But is we're going to get rid of the volume issue. Is if you can see the, and I don't know if it's going to. There we go. It finally <laughs> it was having issues before about focusing. Is the the volume in this is like. Three, this is three times as much as what's in that little tube. And we're going to get the choke points fixed. Um, the, the biggest choke points then will be the valve, um, which will be, you know, adequate enough. And, um, but, and I don't know if I explained that at all. 
but this is what's coming from the top of the tank up here where is it there it is it'll come down and then there will be a T that'll pick up the the hot coming out of the coil and um, and then we'll go down and it'll go out to the to the floor and it'll go through the floor like a radiator then back up into the system um, which is much more efficient is um, and but that's the 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 T that'll pick up the coil the hot from the coil and this is the end where there it is where this comes down from here it'll have an elbow and go out and this will go up on a like a riser and um in a like a th male thread and it will feed this coil that big copper that goes into the bottom of the tank and so it'll make it more efficient there too and there's a valve on this line over here and there will also be this valve right there um, that, that'll be up on top of this on that little riser that'll control the balance the pressure that goes through that um, um, through the the coil that's inside this because this is not even that that's not even coffee cup warm is um, and I'd rather have I'd rather get that much hotter is what I'm trying to get at is um, and just get me a little laser thing and balance it so it's you know keep it up you know 200 degrees um, it'll make the fire more efficient I've not seen any smoke yet. But I do know um, it, it wasn't meant for this, y'all. The, for the design, um, is the, it was supposed to be stainless steel, and it was supposed to, be make, to make steam to make it burn even cleaner. Um, the, the, the presence of the steam in, inside the firebox or up inside this upper chamber is, is just makes it, the, the, it just makes it able to bond quicker and, and cleaner. Um, when the, in the com secondary combustion because it's always hot up there um, but uh, but that was in, in its copper and so I didn't want to not use it so it has to take water and, um, and, and it's just not the way it was made to, you know the design um, it would be better if it was stainless steel and used for what you wanted um, if you want to rob heat from this thing is insulated with about oh eight inches of sand like a sand mortar with a, um, just, you know, a, a, what do you call it? Then them cardboard tube things, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the forms, uh, I know there's a name for them things. Um, but you just come up and, and make the, backfill it with the, with the sand mortar. And, and on the outside, you know, put in, um, oh, even hemp will work. The bass fiber is um, to reinforce the concrete so it doesn't crack up or nothing like that. From the heat stress and and it'll absorb up to about 1100 degrees way more than what you got what for the water and um any water jackets that close to the fire is only robbing the fire of efficiency back your water jackets way out on the outside of like i said maybe eight inches six eight inches of, of sand and then you know maybe bring it even farther past the sand jacket i mean the the water jacket bring the sand past that um, um, encapsulate the water jacket inside the sand and um, but you'll get plenty of heat transfer and um, and it'll act like a reserve like a battery too but um, sorry I can't back up any farther I'd be halfway across the room is is I know it has that option but when I do it and then it acts like it looks like it's snowing in here is um, and that must be the LEDs or whatever but, um, but all this is going to be taken out, removed. A uh, big copper pipe is going to come down, go into these lines for into the floor. Um, this will come down, but go this way, and then we'll make, like I said, that header that will come off of that right there um, for the valve, and then it will feed the, the copper going into the coil. Um, and then on the upper side, the it'll take the hot from the coil back into the the overflow and back into the floor right there all right guys i'm gonna leave it like that and and like i said i botched the t so i got to pick up that 
and a few more things. So it's not like that's the only thing I got to pick up. I hate those trips. Um, but is um, but I'll get to run and do that, and um, and then I'll show you the finished product, like the before and after. So, all right, is um, we'll talk to you then.